Hey guys, everybody's always wondering where Duke and Daisy are. There's Daisy. There's Duke. Old Daisy. Everybody knows old Daisy girl. She don't like going on the truck anymore. She just don't like it. So I just don't... I'm not going to force her to go. She's a homebody, huh? You're just a homebody. This is my new one over here. Just playing with her toy. We named her Josie. She's gonna go with me every day. We'll see if we can't get her trained up to be a good service repair dog. Huh. Josie girl. Josie, Josie, Josie. Josie, Josie, Josie. No, oh, she's a sweetheart. Just an absolute sweetheart. First night she spent with me last night. My mom, my wife's gone on a trip for a week, and me and her went and got her yesterday before she left. And so me and her were by ourselves last night with Duke and Daisy and some of the other dogs. We've got quite a few dogs. <laughs> The other dog, my mother-in-law, she's got them, but I could take care of all of them and work too. She left me with the ones that are easy to manage, the big dogs. The big dogs are easy to manage. Huh, Daisy? Daisy's always easy to take care of. She says, just give me a little food and water and I'll lay on the couch. I'll be here when you get back. Go in and out the dog door and go to potty. No, uh, anyway thought you guys had to see all three of them together and know they're all all right I might try to get Duke to go today we'll see if he'll go and keep Josie company in the shop maybe put them in the office there and turn the heater on it's kind of cold this morning that little thing you know so anyhow we'll see you down there at the shop guys well I guess so we I'm just looking at this thing, what I'm going to start on first here. Good grief, that dead gun wind is blowing out there, man. It's just been blowing all day long and just doesn't want to stop. I just keep thinking the roof's going to come off the building any time. Uh, so I guess we can get the serpentine belt off. Tom, you know, he he, he brought down all the stuff and he, he just was loaded down. He couldn't haul anymore in that half-ton pickup. So, And I told him to just... I thought I could do more than what I was expecting here. I, was, I thought I expected I could do more than what I can. Um, I guess there's still quite a bit of stuff that we can get off and get over, but I need all the gaskets and stuff. This whole filter head assembly is going to have to come off of there. Oh, let's see here. What side? Or should we just take some stuff off the front end? I mean, you're still going to need, obviously, some kind of O-ring there, and there's going to be a gasket here where this... All this mounts up to here. It's water neck. Uh, fan hub. I could get that fan hub off there, I reckon. Oh, you know, that's what I should have got. It's a darn brand new fan belt. Because that one's gone. I was really happy to see a new crank damper. You know, with that crank wobbling around the way that one was, I was a little nervous about it. I thought, you know, I, I called him the other day and I says, if it ain't got one, get one. I mean, this is, we've spent way too much money on this to not put one of those on there. So, what do we got for tensioners? Uh, we want to take this, this tensioner here loose. Get that off of there. What is that, like 18 millimeter? Get the belt off. All right, we'll start yarding all this stuff off of here. Always back here. It's kind of wound up around everything, it seems like. It goes clear back to the battery. Okay. on 
dirt bikes raising hell. I guess I can't say too much. I used to do that very same thing myself. And Clips break. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Need a 13 millimeter. All right, Amy, we'll get another socket. Hey, my truck's cluttering the hell over here. I want to pull that sucker in right there. You know what? Get closer to this thing. I was working on the squeeze, and I. It's a pain in the ass because I have to lift the door up and then drive clear around the building and come back on the other side. It's just a pain in the ass. And a lot of guys don't understand why I don't have, you know, most of my tools in here. I keep them in my truck because I'm 35 miles away from this place is where my house is. And I'm not going to leave, you know, $50,000 worth of tools in here in this shop when i'm 35 miles away where all my shit can get stolen uh so you know a lot of you guys are one horse shows like me i mean maybe you got your i'm not trying to run you down but maybe you got an automotive shop and you got one bay and you got a car left in there and you got your little toolbox up against the wall and yeah everything's safe and secure and that's just not the way it is here it's it's, it's a different world here And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. It's just different. I'm in a service truck. Okay. Then we've got... We really can't even put that on until this is some kind of... What is that? A water manifold there? What the hell is that? Some kind of water manifold or something right here. <clears throat> Somebody's going to be watching this. Didn't watch the previous videos. Go, oh, that guy don't even know what it is he's working on there. Wouldn't let him touch my truck. Wiring harness here, ECM. This wiring harness is held on. I can put that bracket back on there. I might do that before I get too wound up here. Plug all this stuff back in. I was trying to get that damn thing off there, you know, with the uh, all intact. So we got another plug in right here, some kind. Need to unplug. The ECM needs to come off of it. I can go ahead and probably do that. Yeah, this is going to be quite a little project, really. Just swapping stuff around. Man, I ain't going to get on that, am I? What would it take to just get that off there out of the way? Well, quite a bit. <laughs> We've got this bracketed to that. Would that be... There! Ain't one thing, it's ten others of this thing, huh? So I gotta get a ratchet or something and get on that one. Get the CCM off of there. Uh, I guess we'll just strip down one side and go as far as we can. And some of these bolts, I guess I'll put them back in here. That way, what the hell is that? Some kind of tag or something there. When I'm going back together, I can come over and grab them, I guess, put them back in there. But Alright, 
let me get a ratchet here and that one just come from? Huh. I didn't take this one out. Right here, it's missing. It's rattled out of there or something. Oh, this one went, yeah, that one went right there, okay. All right, let me get a, let me get something. I gotta get this one bolt out back here. Bushings here, I gotta make sure I don't lose those. This end. Okay. Both studs on the top. Those will have to come loose as well. square and round it off like that yeah let's cut this right here to get this tied be careful with it cut some of these ties off that you don't cut through the wire I'm trying to cut the tie off Some kind of screwdriver or something to wedge this thing here apart. Not the biggest fan of those kind of connectors, to be honest with you. Um, how's this? It's all bracketed down here on the bottom too. It's quite a wiring harness they got in this damn thing. Quite a wiring harness they got in that. Let's get a screwdriver or something. And you gotta be really careful with those connectors they got on there. It ain't hard to screw one of those up. I know it's a pain in the ass. I'm walking back and forth, but I'm not gonna work much longer. We're gonna get up early in the morning and go to Brookings, so we'll work for a while on this and try to get some of this shit stripped off of here. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to put back together though. I kind of wanted to do it all in one go around and just try to keep track of stuff. But I don't have the install kit, so I'll have to grab it tomorrow or something when I get back. So I got that unhooked, and there's a sensor here, some kind. No light. I'm trying to figure out how this one actually comes unplugged. Same kind of deal. One of them slide lock, phony ass things. another one we're getting there <clears throat> so I can take this side of the harness and lay it over <clears throat> this thing it's just like a blow-by that's a blow-by tube is what that is goes back into this isn't that what that is <clears throat> yeah that's got to be what it is 
Yeah, that's a blow-by. It's a blow-by tube. Sure as shit. Neat. Can't do how we can't have no oil hit the ground. Oh, can't have that shit. Put that there and that there, because those studs will have to go over. So maybe what we'll do while we're here is just go ahead and change those studs over. I kind of want to just take this off as an assembly and swap it over to the other side. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there's so many holes in this block. Hard for me to get confused by what goes where. So I'm gonna have to like count these one, two, three, one, two, three. I think they go right there. Figure out where all this shit goes when I go switch it over to the other the other one. Of course that's gonna be right in my way where I can't get this one loose. Of course. Uh let me get this I'm gonna get this filter hit bullshit off of here, but I'm gonna have to unbolt this. Yeah, this fill tube is gonna have to come off separate from everything else. Let me put this one in the block over here. Just kind of start it. One, two, three, four, five, count five over. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be this one. Oh. Put the wrong end in there. All right. I'm kind of wondering if this. It's got some kind of lock tab here holding the plug, a soft plug in, or a rubber plug, or something. Is that in that one? No. Of course not. Boy, guy's really gonna have to pay attention to what the hell he's doing here. You know what? It's like an optional spot. Oh, there's two of them. There's another one down here. See, they put one here. They didn't put one here. So we got to get that out of there and whatever that plug is. Okay. Man, there is a lot of stuff on these, you know what? And that's kind of like that Detroit. It's got those plastic lines on that Detroit, too. I changed the other day on the compressor head. Um. I think the easiest way the discharge line I'd kind of like to just leave it on here not even mess with that part of it I'm thinking uh, they've got an ear bracket in it to this bracket so everything's kind of all all hooked together uh, let's see you try to do this the easiest way you possibly can Sometimes there just ain't no easy way about it. Let's see. Um, oh, shoot. They changed sizes on me there. Let me go get a 15. thing with it would that be the thing to do there what else is it hold I forget what the hell else they got okay so that that must be what's holding me there Yeah, there's a ton of little brackets and wires and shit on this thing. Now, now what do we got? 
I think we might be three there now. It's a solid hard line, so it's gonna be, she's gonna be tight. Okay, uh, then we have to hook. Okay, let's go. What's this cable here doing? It's just to ground for the blocker. What's, where's that going? I don't know, I don't know. It's just kind of wound out between the block and the air compressor. See if I can get this lock off of here. Kind of like them, but I can see these breaking a lot easier than I broke one already. So I got to get with Tom and see if I can get these special little plastic locks. Where's the screwdriver at? See if I can get in there and wedge it off of there. I see my neighbors. They got their old cat. Road grader, hear it running out there. A real machine. Okay. Then this other one over here. Did I break that? No, nope, I did not. Oh, I got lucky I didn't. I thought I broke it. The problem is, you see, you, you're getting guys that are they're building stuff like... This is supposed to be the heavy-duty industry. But they're building them like cars now, is what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They're building them like cars. With all this cheap plastic fucking garbage all over them. And it just, it's not... It's just no good, you know? For the heavy-duty diesel industry. It's just not really applicable, I guess you could say. I know, I bitch and I bitch and it's just, this is just terrible design, it really is. And they, and then, but they, you know, they want to sell it for what the way it's made is what they ought to do. Now that I have all the gaskets and everything that I need to uh, keep going here, um, I'm have to be completely honest with you guys that. Uh, kind of hang up till tomorrow on this side of the block because uh, I'd never pulled the AC or air compressor off of one of these Packard, these newer Packard engines, and I did not know. I just didn't know, and I probably should have been more thorough and read the book. But I ordered the next day to part. Thank God they had one. Uh, told them I said bill me for it, and I'll pay the freight. And anyways, that being said, these. As you can see the air compressor bolts in like this well I didn't know there was a nipple right here going into the block I did not know that and I yeah, well it's out of there now but I broke it off basically so I have to fix that that was completely my fault, 100%. So I just got to get this piece out of here. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just got an O-ring. We'll put an easy out or something or do something in there and we'll pull it out of there. And I just, yeah, I didn't, I did not know that was like that. I, uh, I put a bar in there. I thought, man, it must be stuck on the O-ring is what I thought. And, I'll never make that mistake again. I should have, like I said, I should have got the book out and read up on that. That's my fault for getting in a hurry, doing something stupid. Uh, so we're going to work on this side of the block, and I think we can, even if we have to, we can put the head on. Uh, I got the cylinder head in the back of the service truck. Let the ISC set there for a while and see if she goes to acting up again. Hopefully not. Hopefully we got it. I sure hope so. Okay, um, where to begin, where to begin, where to begin, I think, we got something going on here, we got a plug in here that needs to come undone, <sighs> come on, so don't do what I did and break that off by being an idiot.
better be unplugging this stuff. We jerk that off there. We're gonna screw something up. Make sure we made that a tight fit there. Or something. Those, you can't get your fingers around it. The filter's in the way. There's two plugs here. This must be the water pump. It's got <laughs> fins on it like an air cooled engine. That's kind of crazy, huh? Can't believe it's towards the end of April and it's. I mean, we usually get our little snow flurries and stuff here is not abnormal but I mean we've been getting some what's hey it's good you know can't complain about it we've been getting some pretty good substantial snowstorms I mean the one morning here I don't know there must have been four or five inches of snow on the ground and they come down in a hurry we went to Brookings yesterday to get uh Josie and I mean going over the pass here between Cave Junction and the coast it was just flat coming down now and big big uh, snowflakes. Try to get this off without breaking something. Be nice. A wonderful world of plastic connectors. Oh, come on. Work with me. There it goes. I think we're unhooked on both of those now. The problem is, the way that they've got it jammed down in there, you almost gotta pull this tube off to get the wires out of there. I know, yeah, you're not gonna get the wires out of there. You're not gonna get those wires out of there without pulling this tube right here. And it's got an ear on it right there. Pretty wild, huh? Pretty wild the way they did stuff on this thing. And here I am again walking back and forth to my truck, but oh, wait a second. I had over here on this Roadrunner, I had a 13 millimeter. Okay, let's uh let's see what we got here, huh? this tube off of here. Kind of ridiculous. One bite at a time. That's how you eat an elephant. Okay. That is out of the way. We'll put that back in there for time being. Okay, and there's those two sensors I just unplugged. Is there anything else? I don't think this module hooked. Is it hooked to this in any way, shape, or form? I don't think it is. All right, I think we can zip this off now. Unless there's something else that I don't see that's attached. So this tensioner appears to be mounted individually by itself, independent from this.
underneath it. So that's a thing you sometimes you read the book and sometimes you just don't do like I did the air compressor and start pulling on it thinking you got it and you break something. Uh, Braced right here. Zip this tensioner here off. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get. It's going to have to be an inrip, inrip type situation on that, huh? I don't think you're going to get on that with the socket. And this tensioner here is not on there either. Or not tensioner, but idler. That will have to get pulled off. A lot of little stuff that you got to do here. And all of the fan hub bolts were loctited in there, so gotta make sure we loctite them back in there. Okay, I dropped one washer off one of my fan hub bolts somewhere. Get a magnet, it's right there, I see it right in there. I gotta get an end wrench for this and then let's go ahead and zip this one here off. See any reason why we can't put this on there though? Let's pull this one out. I wonder what the deal is with that. I wonder what the deal is with that bolt there. What is that bolt doing? Nothing really, I mean, there's no seal or nothing on it. Okay. That's a little nothing back. Oh, it must be part of this front cover. Okay. Let's torque that down. What else? This tensioner, and that'll be pretty much it for the stuff on the front end. I'm going to pull these out of here. At least they plugged everything up. Okay. Alright. Well, let me uh, dig around and find gasket for that and get these tightened up. Put this either down. We got paint in the hole. Alright. Fan hub bolts. They 
had lock plate on them. I'm going to put blue on there, I guess. Probably, actually, those two bottom holes are slotted, and I got Loctite on these already. So why don't I? I guess I ought to look and see what the holes were actually. Okay, three up. There's a three third hole up. Well, that was really smooth, really graceful, huh? Uh, can I get lucky enough to get my fingers on it? Washer slid back. Let's see if we can get it stuck on there. Ugh. Pretty heavy little hand hub. Having trouble here. Maybe I'll put it in this one that's a little easier to get my hands on. There we go. Whew, okay. This one here's kind of a kind of a little difficult. Get it on. Where in the hell is my? I had a 18 millimeter wobble socket. gun set on two. I don't want to over tighten them because I still got to torque them. I got to look that up. Now this here is going to go. Was that Loctited? I think it was. Yeah, it was Loctited. that little dowel lines up. Alright. And before I put these two bottom tensioners on the fan hub bracket, I need to make damn sure that, uh, yeah, darn, I forgot to tell him I need a fan belt. I better call him. I gotta torque these before I put these on. Pulling these plugs out of here, I think. So I don't know. I guess I ought to look at that other side first. I don't know if there's a gasket that mounts flat against that. It kind of looks like as there is. So I probably now let's get this one here off. Just what I'm not certain about is do I need to clean all that paint off of the ceiling surface? that'll really screw a guy up. There's another plug here. You gotta make sure you get all them out of there. And 
And down here, this tape they got on here. Not too worried about torquing that. Either tight, color good. A little common sense sometimes goes a long ways. Okay, and this was sitting in there. How was that sitting in there? Like that? Or was it like? Had to be like that. Yeah, there's a whole lot of little things like that on this deal. A whole lot of that kind of stuff. I hope those guys can find those gaskets in a reasonable amount of time because that's really holding me up. I can do the head though. We can keep going. We're not dead in the water yet. We'll just keep pulling shit off of here that we can change over and we'll just keep going as far as we can. I, you know, I can't, I can't really blame the dealer. I mean... Peterbilt's the one selling this as an install kit, you know, so whoever, I don't know if they just didn't package it right, or Peterbilt, or what happened, I don't know. Okay. Should have some kind of flat-bladed apparati here. Ah. Uh. not being very nice with me right now. Yeah, I'm not having much luck with this one. <sighs> Dirty son of a gun. Fit in there either. Good grief. Ah. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That's a damn thing. Having a hell of a time here. All these O rings, these are the pumping units. Cam followers are already in. So, I guess we'll start pulling. Let's do this one here first. We'll do O-rings on here. Green on the bottom, purple in the middle, and black is on the top. Get those out of the way might make life a little bit. Don't, don't knock that off of there. Oh, my bench is full of parts from this. <laughs> I got that. Okay. Yeah, that fuel truck I did the you guys remember the fuel truck I did the real nice uh, Pete I put the px9 in those guys just love it run the living hell out of it he says every day it gets used sent me a picture the other day uh, of it out in the field fueling up and lubing excavators and doing its thing
glove is coming apart on me here. It's driving me crazy. Had enough of it. There's the black one and the purple one in the middle. green one and a little bit of oil maybe I uh, grease will work hang on let me get some grease thought I had it over here already Just a little number two grease smear it on those o-rings so they'll go in there and not bind up maybe hang on this is Kenworth calling me uh, well I'm about to run out of room on my SD card guys but anyway there's a ton of stuff you got to change on these so there's an elbow here we got to get out of there this banjo fitting line assembly has to come out and go over there so anyways tomorrow we'll be back and i want a video tomorrow morning coming in and see if this starts in the morning all right thanks for watching